How do we graph the solutions of inequalities on the number line? My first example would be x greater than 5. So, this is a number line. Now, x greater than 5 means all the values more than 5 is the solution of this inequality. X can be 6, x can be 5.5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1000, 1 lakh, whatever. So, how we represent it on the number line? This way. Look, so this red line represents all the solutions of this inequality. So, x means it is more than 5. That's why the, this red line is going above 5. It's more than 5. So, all these values which are more than 5 are the solutions of this inequality. And this arrow shows that, of course, it goes on and on. If you look carefully, the circle at 5 is not shaded. It's an unshaded circle. Why? Because 5 is not included. X needs to be more than 5. Is it equal to 5? No, it's not. Since 5 is not included in the value of x, so 5 is unshaded. Next one, x less than, min x less than equal to minus 2. This is a number line. All the values of x which are less than minus 2 and equal to minus 2 are the solutions for x. So my solution would be represented by this red line. So, less than minus 2 means all these values which are coming on the left side of minus 2, they satisfy these, this inequality because they are less than minus 2. And look at the circle at minus 2. Because minus 2 is included, so this circle is shaded circle. So, when the number is included, shade the circle, add the number. When the number is not included, as in the first example, do not shade the circle. Next example, a is greater than or equal to 3.5. So, the value of A needs to be 3.5 or more than 3.5. So, I will represent the solutions as this way. So, look here. This is 3.5, which will be like midway between 3 and 4. So, 3.5 3 and more than 3.5. So, look, the circle at 3.5 is shaded. And all these values, which are represented by this red line, are the solutions of this inequality.